the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ngayon, pag, ang santo natin ngayon is Saint Josephat, Bishop and Martyr. Prepare ourselves, celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our sins. Be truly sorry for them. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God of mercy, us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord. The spirit that filled Saint Joseph as he laid down his life for the sheep so that through his intercession, we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the third letter of St. John. Beloved, you are faithful in all you do for the brothers and sisters, especially for strangers. They have testified to your love before the church. Please help them in a way worthy of God to continue their journey, for they have set out for the sake of the name and are accepting nothing from the pagans. Therefore, we ought to support such persons so that we may be co-workers in the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lends who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Bless the man who fears the Lord. Please stand. God has called us through the gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told them a parable to show them that they should pray continually and not lose heart. He said in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor people. 
In the same town, there was a widow who kept coming to him saying, Defend my rights against my adversary. For a time, he refused. But finally, he thought, Even though I neither fear God nor care about people, this widow bothers me so much. I will see that she gets justice. Then she will she will stop coming and wearing me out. And Jesus said, Listen to what the evil judge says. Will God not do justice for his chosen ones who cry to him day and night, even if he delays in answering them? I tell you, he will speedily do them justice. And when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Gandang umaga po sa kanilang lahat. Tatandaan nyo nung kasagsagan ng buhay politika dito sa ating Pilipinas. Ang paborito ng tao ay ang kasabihan, Tama na, sobra na, ihinto na. Dumarating ang panahon sa atin na minsan nararamdaman natin na tayo'y nagsasawa sa nangyayari sa buhay natin. Nagsasawa rin. Nagsasawa sa kagawa ng kasamaan. Nagsasawa rin. Maraming pera na sa pandaraya. Hindi naman nagagawa niya, nagagamit na wala ng lasa pag sobra na para bang busog na busog ang tao hindi na niya gustong kumain pa sa gospel ni Luke ngayon may sinabi niya this is a parable kung nakinig kayo mabuti, parable. Ano po ba ang parable? Ang parable ay salita ng Diyos na parang tinutulak na tayo na magbagong buhay na. Ganon ang ganon na lang. Kaya maski ang ating anghel, nagsasawa na sa atin. Ang parable ay ibig sabihin, dumarating ang panahon sa buhay natin na parang tayo'y pinagsasabihan. Tama na, sobra na, ihinto na yan. Parables ay salita ng Diyos na parang binibigyan tayo ng bilang. Isa pa. Di ba? Pag naiinis na tayo, isa pa. Pangalawa pa. Pag ina, pinaabot mo ng pangatlo, ay makikita mo. Dumarating sa buhay natin yan. Sobra-sobra na. At dapat into na. Otherwise, otherwise, masama ang nangyayari sa atin. Hindi lang natin napapansin. Kuminsan, hindi nangyayari sa ating pagkatao, 
binabawi sa mamahal natin sa buhay, binabawi sa ating asawa, biglang naging jobless, binabawi sa ating mga anak, biglang nagka-COVID-19, binabawi sa ating pamilya, biglang nag-away-away tungkol sa pera, yung bang nangyayaring masakit sa buhay na hindi na natin makakakayanin. Parables ay salita ng Diyos na parang binibilangan na tayo na dapat ihinto na. Ihinto na ang pagdaraya. Ihinto na ang pagsusugal. Ihinto na ang pagsisinungaling. Ihinto na ang pagtutulog-tulogan maski nandito kayo sa simbahan. Hindi nakikinig at hindi nagdarasal sa misa. Iniisip ko anong gagawin pagkatapos ng misa. Wala. Walang nangyayari. Kaya maski siya ay simba ng simba, hindi nagbabago ang buhay. Chismosa pa rin. Pal palaaway pa rin. Madaya pa rin. Why? Because, sabi ni San Pablo, we do not know how to pray. Kalimitan ang dasal natin ay puro hingi. Lord, bigay mo naman dito sa akin yan. Lord, pakiawa, pa pa maawa ka naman. Ibigay mo sa amin, ayusin mo naman. Ano ang pinakamagandang pagdarasal? Lord, maawa ka sa aking mga kaibigan, mga sa aking pamilya. Sa akin, Lord, bahala ka na. Tatanggapin ko kung ano mangyari sa akin. Ibig sabihin, ang paniniwala, we have the faith. Paniniwala kung ano mangyari sa atin, yun ang galing sa taas. Kaya huwag tayo reklamo ng reklamo. Napakaingay. Complaining person. Pagdasal po tayo. Ipagdasal mabuti. Lord, kayo na po ang bahala sa akin. Ako'y magtitimpi. Babawasan ko ang aking daldal, kadaldalan ng aking kaluluwa. We now all stand for the prayers of the faithful. Magsitayo po tayo. We must pray unceasingly. Never lose heart. Our God will see justice done to His chosen ones who cry out to Him day and night. Encouraged by this teaching of our Lord, let us come to the Father with our intercessions. Ang isasagot po natin, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church through its ministers, may persevere amidst all her trials and tribulations and never lose confidence in proclaiming the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are discouraged and are tempted to give up the struggle in leading a good life may find new inspiration in the faithfulness of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who find praying difficult may grow in fervor and make room for God in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may persevere in their sufferings and never lose heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may receive the heavenly reward for their perseverance on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Huwag natin kalimutan ang leksyon ng gospel ngayon. 
Huwag tayo mapagod sa kakasimba. Huwag tayo mapagod sa kakadasal. Heavenly Father, we entrust our needs to you. Show us the way to pray unceasingly so that we may always be united to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have bread to offer, which earth given human hands you have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of divine work of human hands to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble, contrite hearts. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings. Confirm us in the faith that St. Joseph had professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant them firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures, heaven and earth, sing a new song in adoration with all the hosts of angels, cry out without end, we acclaim. Holy. Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, took the chalice once more giving thanks, gave it his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new eternal covenant will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks of hell that's worth it to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, the Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Pagdasil natin ang mga ating kadugo na nauna sa atin lumipat sa kabilang mundo. Mga namatay. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Dominic, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages. May merit to be coerced to eternal life. May praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed holy be your be name, name. your kingdom, kingdom come, come. You will be done on earth as, as in, heaven. in heaven. Give, give us, us today our, our daily bread, bread. and forgive, forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace the grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Magbatian po tayo, peace be with you. Sana magkaroon ng kapayapaan ng ating mga kaluluwa. May, may this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon. Bago mo humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng amen at isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following Saint Joseph, Joseph's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Ma may sakit sa kaluluwa, sa konsyensya, sakit sa ugali. God, our mighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength, support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessing of rosaries and other religious articles in memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. To the honor and glory of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed, made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Immaculate Mother.